people often say you get what you pay for this is especially true when it comes to designing and documenting the drawings you need for your next building home so most of the times you find out that you're going to be buying low uh, cost building plans which are not very detailed so the lack of a good and detailed building plan for your next building home leads to unnecessary guest work on site for both you the builder and the contractor who is going to be handling this project because if you fail to have a detailed building drawing it's it's going to be like you're making guesswork's on site so you have to eliminate guesswork if you have a kind of detailed building plan it helps eliminate guesswork so something as a missing or incorrect dimension on your building plan can be very costly and it comes with its own kind of consequences for your next building project in most cases because you do not have a detailed building plan the engineer will be required to solve some structural issues on site which were not detailed while making the building drawings so the bricklayer and everybody on site will have to wait for this type of uh, problem to be solved because you do not have a detailed drawing plan so it can increase the timeline of building the cost of building because you do not have a detailed building plan that is going to guide you and the engineer and the bricklayer on what they are going to be doing and how they are going to do it and how it's going to work out for the building design they have proposed so when you build up your home to a certain stage and you start demolishing rebuilding and reconstructing it again it adds up to extra cost because one you have failed to get a very detailed building drawing for the building construction process itself so you find out that you start demolishing reconstructing and having to pay more for labor and materials that you're going to buy so getting a detailed building plan will solve all these type of issues on site which will in turn save cost of building lack of a good building plan often leads to frustration for the building owner itself and also the architect or the engineer on site as this will also cause a delay on the building process and also incur higher building costs because most times you have to build and demolish because you do not have very detailed building plan that is going to help you out for building process itself so what are the documents you have to get to consider that a good building plan for your next building drawings generally when building a new home the more documented information there is for the builder the less likely he's going to rely on the engineer for instructions on how to go about the building uh, design process itself so all good detailed drawing plans should come with the following drawings the side plan showing the drainage layout the floor plans either ground floor or the first floor the roof plan of the design a cross section of the roof design of the building showing either two of the sections the elevations of this building you have the north the south the east and the west elevations also note that you have to get the floor finishes for this building designs also electrical drawings the structural drawings and the mechanical drawings the exterior design are also included as well as the interior designs of these building plans also getting a proper estimate of this building plan before uh, before building it will also help so we can get the building estimate from whoever is providing this building plan services for you as building designs become more complex and also more modern there is also a need to detail any special features which are found in building drawing plans on most cases plans are issued with little or no specific details at all leaving it up to the building owner and the bricklayer on site to set out 
that is very very costly at you're going to experience very disappointing outcomes and also increase in expenses as a result of no specific details in most of the special features you find on these building designs which will require extra expenses on your part as the building owner things like to know the cost of this for example the cost of the foundation will be determined on site should be very very avoided and should be kept to a minimum because all these are red flags going into the building construction process so you want to know upfront how much your foundation is going to cost you and how much you're going to be budgeting how much you should be expecting so when you know all these things upfront it helps make the building process itself and the construction method itself very simple and cost effective it is the building designer's responsibility to provide accurate building information for your next building project so as you can build your next building home with minimal effort from you the building owner so it's required that the building designer gives accurate information and well detailed plans so that you won't be at home and someone is calling you to come to decide as the estimate they made is not fitting into the building they do not understand what is here so it's the building designers tax to give very detailed building drawings building your next building home should be something that is pleasant and also very exciting and with chase i'm here uh, with over 10 years experience you can rely on me and make it an easy choice for your building designer uh, so i can design and complete your next building design project for you so what you need to do is talk to us you can see my number on the screen so you just have to contact me so we can go about your building design and get you the desired result that you require for your next building project so the best way to ensure that your next building project is a good experience is to come and start with a good building design a very detailed building plans for the next building project itself so this is going to make it very pleasant for you as the building owner so all you have to do is call JSAM or the number on the screen is there so you can reach JSAM on that number. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, have a nice day. God bless you and take care.